Hello folks, I hope that you are having just one of the best days in your life that you've ever had. Today we're going to be taking a look at the short story The Tweener uh, by Lee Brackett, which was published in 1954 for fantasy, the magazine of fantasy and science fiction. Um, it's another short story that's in my collection, the best of Lee Brackett, and it is the penultimate, the ninth out of ten short story in this collection. Um, it's also the shortest one, it's only about uh, 18 pages long. Uh, I knocked it out about a half an hour. I knocked it out last night for the first time and I wanted to go ahead and give you my review of this short story. So let's take a look. Now I'm not going to spend too much of your time with it because it's a short, short story. Uh, but basically what winds up happening uh, is that we are back on Earth. Uh, we're still in our sword and sorcery planet. Uh, one of our characters has returned to Earth from Mars. He's one of the first expeditions to Mars um, and there they found this uh, domestic th th this newly domesticated uh, creature uh, they've come across that's native to Mars and um, they call it a tweener uh, because it's between a few different types like a monkey and a rabbit and a couple of other types um, so the the the, uh, the uh, folks that have colonized Mars have adopted them as pets and have domesticated them they have no uh, major sort of uh, anti-human stuff going on because they were the only, uh, you know, mammals uh, that were surviving after, you know, the Mars had fallen. And, and uh, so, you know, they've been adopted, uh, if you will, by uh, all of the Terran colonists uh, that have gone out there. Now we're going to be opening up our scene uh, with uh, a relative of our primary point of view character who lives on... Uh, on Earth um, is coming back to Earth. He's being surrounded by a lot of people. Um, he's, you know, he's somebody who's a big name in uh, the field, in the local community, in the newspapers, in the media. Uh, so he's coming back, um, and he he comes back, um, and he brings his brought back a gift for his two cousins, which are the children of our point of view character, um, Mark and. So we will find out, you know, uh, and then they'll open up this box that has the tweener in it, and they'll get it as a gift uh, from our from 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 the relative who's gone to Mars um, and Mark's kids. Um, at first, the two parents of our two cousins of our two of our two children are a bit upset that um, and are very questionable about it, but they also immediately accept the tweener as a legitimate pet because they're like, even pets, like they're domesticated here, like rabbits will bite. So, and these are younger kids. Um, but after being, you know, being told, hey, look, you don't have to worry about these, you're fine. Uh, you'll be good to go. And given the history of the tweener a little bit, um, they, they go ahead and decide to accept it with some rules that they give to the kids. Uh, and that's about four or five pages in, and then things start to happen. It starts to change, of course, because this is clearly not just a story about, you know, five pages of a tweener, and then that's it, right? It's five pages into a, you know, a short story. So, obviously, other things are going to happen. Things are going to start to change and go awry. What's happening? Why? Um, and what would be the solution will obviously be the next few questions that will be asked um, by you as a reader and answered by Lee Brackett. This is not the first time Lee Brackett has leaned into the uh, astronaut as a hero, if you will, trope um, in these stories. Uh, the wo woman from out there also had that um, as a um, as 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 a type two with a, with a with a with an astronaut who had, was really famous and considered sort of a hero by the local people, um, and had tons and tons of people show up when he landed. So this is not the first time we've seen this trope, even in this collection of the best of Lee Brack. Um, but it's, uh, um, but I understand what she's doing with it. Um, I'm only giving it a seven out of 10. Um, it doesn't have stakes that Lee Brackett stories typically have. Um, there's no like major adventure. Death isn't on this on the horizon. Um, there is a bit of a feel of horror though with it, um, which I like. Um, so it does have a little bit more of a horror science fiction feel rather than a pure science fiction. Um, so you know that that's some good stuff. I do I do appreciate that that she's you know breaking out of her normal bubble. But it doesn't if you have like some of the high stakes that some of the other stories have, uh, which is to its detriment because I think he could have. Uh, I think I think Lee could have done a better job with that. 
Uh, Lee Brackett was tutored by a C.L. Moore and her husband, Henry Kuttner, um, who was also pulp writers during this time. And uh, so, uh, there you go. Have you read uh, The Tweener by Lee Brackett? Other things, do you have this collection? Uh, other things, what, what did you think of it? Did you agree or disagree with my take on it? I would be more than happy to engage you with it further in the comments below. If you like this video, why not hit that subscribe button? There's going to be so many more of these to follow. And finally, hey, I just want to thank you for taking some time out of your day and watching my video. We all have so many things that are happening in our lives and we're being pulled in so many different directions, right? So the fact that you spent this time with me is incredibly humbling and I appreciate it. So thanks again and have a great day.